More than two years after Louisville police shot and killed Grand Rapids native Breonna Taylor, four officers are now facing federal charges. News 8's Kyle Mitchell has reaction from family and a legal expert. The family is relieved that federal civil rights charges are being brought. They're continuing their call for justice. Say her name. Breonna Taylor. Breonna Taylor's mother, Tamika Palmer, spoke in Louisville. Grateful for new charges, but remembering the daughter she lost. Today's overdue, but it still hurts. Former officers Brett Hakison, Joshua James, and Kelly Goodlett will face charges. Sergeant Kyle Meany has also been charged. On day one, y'all learning what we've been seeing was the truth that they shouldn't have been there and that Brianna didn't deserve that. Brianna Taylor is from Grand Rapids and her family that still lives in the city was happy to see charges brought. We were beginning to lose that hope, but we never give up. You know, just because you lose hope does it not does not mean you give up. And yeah, our hope was dwindling, but we still refused to give up. We knew that her rights have been violated. Taylor's cousin Tawana Gordon woke up to the news this morning and says the support the family has received from around the world calling for justice helped keep Brianna Taylor from being forgotten. We want the world to know to be there as well. Follow this case, follow each one of their cases. Let's make sure we see it through just like we intended to see through her justice. And we're still not done. The work is not done. We still have other people that are experiencing the same things. It's been more than two years since Taylor was shot and killed. The charges are based upon the lies that were told by the officer who executed the affidavit for the search warrant. Jeffrey Schwartz, a law professor with WMU Cooley Law School, says the Department of Justice would not have brought charges unless they felt enough evidence existed to make the case. Therefore, everything that occurred after that search warrant was issued is a product of those lies. Therefore, it was a violation of Brianna's uh, constitutional rights because he lied on an affidavit for a search warrant. The family is also continuing to advocate for Brianna's law to be passed around the country that would eliminate no-knock warrants.